Hi, in this video I'm going to give you a very basic rundown of how layers work in Photoshop. Hi, I'm Adam and welcome to First Man Photography. And before we get into this video, if you haven't done so already, head over to firstmanphotography.com, fill in your details to join the email list and I'll send you a free copy of the ebook on how to capture perfect exposure every time. Okay, we're here to talk about layers in Photoshop and this is a very basic rundown of how they work and what they are. So let's get into this. Okay, the first thing to understand is that layers are transparent, very much like this piece of plastic. And when we create an image, if we create an image from new, it will by default have a white background on that background layer, just like this. And if you create a or open a new image in Photoshop, the background layer will have your image on it very much like this. But for the sake of the tutorial, we're going to just have a white background. So we've created a new document and we have on our background layer a white background just like this. So for the minute, we're going to create a new layer. So we have another piece of plastic here to represent that. And we create a new layer and that just sits transparently in front of our white background. So for the time being, we're going to make our white background invisible. So we'll just click the little eye icon and that makes that background layer invisible. So I'm going to just add three shapes to my image and I want to be able to affect each of them individually. So the first one is this red circle and I just add that to the new layer. So once I've added my red circle to my new layer, I'm free to move that anywhere on the layer that I choose. So I'm going to have it at the top here in the top left of the image. And then I'm going to create a new layer to put my second shape on. So I create the layer and that sits again transparently in front of my red circle. So for the time being, I'm going to make the red circle invisible as well to just work on the next shape, which is going to be this yellow star. So again, put that onto the layer and I'm free again to just move that around any part of the layer that I want. So I'm going to have that just about there, I think. And then I'm going to create my final layer, my fourth layer. So again, another transparent layer goes in there when you click the new layer button and that goes onto there. So for the time being, I'm going to make my star invisible and then I'm going to add a blue square to this last layer. And again, same again, you can, you're can you free to move that around wherever you want. But I think I'll put it somewhere down at the bottom. Now then, when you make all those other layers that we've created visible again, you end up with a final image like this. And you can see that those, all those, the white background, the um, red circle, the star and the square are all on different layers. So if I wanted to go back into it, I can then move those individual items around. Or I can have a transparent background if I get make that background layer invisible again. Or if it's another type of image that you're using, you would then have your background image if you'd added elements to a photograph, for example. Obviously that looks terrible, but it just sort of shows what is possible and how we use layers. So let's get into Photoshop and we'll go through that same, we'll create a similar sort of image and you, I'll be able to show you which buttons to press and how we affect and create those layers. Okay, so we go straight into Photoshop and we're gonna create a very similar image to the one I just showed you. And the layers panel is our bottom right hand panel here with the layers tab checked. And this is our white background layer, as you can see here. So if I make that invisible, it goes transparent. And I've already created a red circle and a yellow star and they're on layer two and layer three. So let, we need to create the blue square. And to do that, you just go down here uh, to this little icon here, click that and that creates a new layer, which is our fourth layer. So that's now visible. You can see with this little eye icon there, that means the layer is visible. So let's make the background layer invisible again so we know we're just working on layer four, which is our blue square. So we'll come up and draw a square shape, 
just make the selection like that and then shift F5 to fill it with the foreground color and we have our blue square. Let's deselect it, hit V so we can then move that element around that layer four in any way we want. So we'll put it up to the top left hand corner or sorry, somewhere in the middle like this and that's where we had it on the original image. So we'll leave it there and then make the other layers visible again and you can see we end up with an image very similar to the one we just had. So that gives you a very basic idea of how the layers work in Photoshop. I'll just give you a quick real world example of that. So we come over to here and here's one of my water drop photos with my logo attached to it. And all I've done is I've got the water drop as the background layer and then I've introduced the uh, logo as an image to a new layer. And that's layer three here. So if you make that layer invisible, you can see that is controlling just the logo and leaving the image itself alone. Uh, in the same way, just hit V on when you've got layer three selected. You know it's selected when it's highlighted blue. And then you're just free to move that layer or that element of that layer around to any position you want. So I could have it at the top there or across the drop here or at the bottom. Um, but I think it's best where I had it before, <clears throat> which is there. And again, you can make that invisible, that layer invisible. And that is how layers work. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. And it's given you a good basic understanding of what layers are and how they work in Photoshop. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up because that really helps me out. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the Facebook page, do whatever you need to do to keep up with all the first man photography content as soon as it comes out. I'm Adam. This is First Man Photography. Out.